I moderated a panel of MHC energy legal experts who are giving a state of the nation in terms of where the Irish legal framework sits relative to Ireland's energy transition. And the main theme is that energy law is still changing. It's complex and there's a lot to keep on top of, both in the planning sphere, in the corporate ESG disclosure sphere, and in any number of other leash regulatory areas. My contribution to our panel this afternoon was a discussion on the EU's new corporate sustainability reporting framework. We discussed how it's going to impact the energy industry and contribute to the EU's Climate Change Action Plan. It's an ambitious piece of legislation and it's been really interesting to hear the views from the audience on how the benefit and burden of compliance might weigh up against that broader ambition. The main point that I was trying to get across was about the changes to the planning system that are coming through, in particular looking to speed up the delivery of planning permissions, so with mandatory timelines with on commission planola and also changes to the judicial review system to speed up the process of getting judicial review decisions. From my point of view, it's interesting to discuss where things are going with the various renewable energy support schemes in Ireland because there's a lot that needs to happen quickly, probably even quicker than it's currently happening on those. Discussions like we were having today with key stakeholders in the room from industry and from the government and Nergut, it's very important that people get to share their views in an open forum because we're all trying to pull together to get as much renewable generation up and running in Ireland as quickly as we can. So people get a chance to see other people's viewpoints and understand difficulties that certain people are facing and It'll help people to align and just get going in the same direction, hopefully. That's what we're hoping to achieve by facilitating discussions like this.